Kids are ready to put the books down and get ready for spring break fun, but it doesn't mean that the learning has to stop. Nope. All right, you can have fun with science, with the whole family, on the road, or even at home. We'll let you know yeah. what this banana means in just a moment. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Joining us yeah, from neat. Michigan Tech University, Executive Director, Director of Enrollment Incentives, Cassie Teft Munoz and student Elisa, or I should say Elsa Meyer, join us. So Cassie, tell us about first your flagship program called Mind Trekkers. Yeah, the Mind Trekkers program is a college student organization here at Michigan Technological University. And we travel all over the country putting on STEM festivals, really convening communities around the idea of creating a STEM ecosystem for youth. So Elsa, I'm gonna ask you a question now. What, what um, are the, the demos, some of the demos that the kids are engaged in? Yeah, so some of the demos that we do um, include Musical Fruit, which is the banana piano that you guys have created today. Um, a couple other popular ones that we have are um, LN2 ice cream, which is where we take um, liquid nitrogen and we mix it into ice cream, which automatically freezes it, and then we can give it to the kids. Um, another popular one is skewer through a balloon. So you take a skewer and you can literally put it straight through the balloon without popping it. Um, and those are some of the ones that kids really enjoy. All right, so Elsa, while Jim Cantori is taking, giving this thing a go, the musical bananas here, he's gonna play a few bars. <laughs> Explain exactly, you know, how this is working, because essentially I feel like you're learning about circuits when you're doing this. Yep, very so when you hold, I'm trying to um, soften the mood. So when you hold the lime, um, that grounds you, so that means you become a part of the circuit, um, and then as you start touching the bananas and the music begins playing, you're completing the circuit, um, which allows the current to kind of move through your body. Um, so it shows that humans can act as a conductor of electricity. Um, and then the piano is just a really cool way for kids to get involved, yeah. kind of I understand. Yeah. The bananas were so good at conducting, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm trying to they think, are. does it make them ripen better even <laughs> after you do this? Yeah, right. Uh, so ca so energy, seriously yeah. though, Cassie, when, when you see a, a child engage in this, I mean, what, what happens to them? I'm sure their whole mood changes. Yeah, so um, the Mind Trackers program is really focused on middle school and, and younger. And that's really by design because we know at that age, kids are the most open to different possibilities. And so what we see at our festivals is just like a sort of like a shock and awe uh, in the moment where we right. literally see jaws drop and just light bulbs turn on um, for kids. And so, you know, we don't expect that they're going to necessarily walk away with a deep understanding of circuitry, but mm -hmm. we just say that our mission is to help spark that curiosity because if we can help kids you know, find that curiosity that they already have and spark that, then that will take them as far as they want to go with. Yeah, and encourage it too. Um, yeah. What if kids can't make it to one of these shows? Is there anything that you guys offer online? Yeah, absolutely. So we have over 200 different activities that are all between about 30 seconds and three minutes that people can do right at home. Uh, we even have our link to where we purchase all of our supplies already made. So we oh, definitely great. invite people to come check it out at mt.edu slash STEM. By the way, I think this is fun for kids and adults. I'm, I'm ready to go to the STEM yeah, program. I'm gonna Cassie, be De Cassie Teft Amuno and Elsa Meyer with Michigan Tech's Mind Trekkers. We're gonna leave you now with Jim playing us out. Oh.